And reminder guys that Action VFX's Black Friday sale is still going on. You have two more days to get 50% of the best stock footage on the entire internet. If you were ever interested in high quality stock footage involving fire, water, sparks, muzzle flashes, blood and everything else you can think of, now's the time. Head to the link in the description. <laughs> Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new episode of Red's Effects. So today guys, we're going to be revisiting an old topic but redoing it once again. So a while ago you guys requested that I do a VFX pack or rather a preset pack of color grading presets and color correction presets for HitFilm Express. More leaning towards color grading actually. And so I did that and it was quite a good response and the reason I did so was because a lot of the times you see big YouTubers, some of our favorite YouTubers releasing preset packs or color grading preset packs for programs such as Lightroom and Premiere Pro and After Effects that emulate their own looks. Now while I don't have particularly a specific look that I color grade with, I do have certain looks that I like and certain looks that I wanted to play with. And so I did that with pack uh, V1 in which I released to you guys 10 free presets for HitFilm Express and you guys seem to really like it. So this time around I decided to jump back into HitFilm Express and play around with some of my favorite looks from some of my favorite films and try and get it to uh, sort of resemble that. Now these presets loosely base the ones that they are named after. For example I have a uh, Star Wars The Force Awakens preset, as well as a uh, over-the-top Michael Bay preset, the vintage old stock TV one. That's one I actually like the most. <laughs> well, that one, um, it's almost something you'd see on a TV in the 1960s. So uh, these presets loosely base the films that they or the looks that they are based on because you can't get exactly the same, especially when it comes to emulating film looks. Throughout a film, the color palette tends to adapt and change to its surroundings and its environment. And so this is sort of based on what I would imagine a standard preset for that film would look like. So here we have color grading presets V2. 10 more amazing. Hit free. 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 Hitform Express presets, I'm such a weirdo, that you can download right now in the description. When you click the download link, you'll be taken to the media file page. You then click the big green button, it'll download a zipped file for you. And then when you see that file, pause this video, go download it, see that file. And then I'm going to jump over the PC right now in about 10 seconds and show you guys exactly how to install those presets and extract them from that file. Um, a lot of people seem to have a problem with that aspect to it. Um, so I'm going to be showing you how to unzip it, how to install the presets and how to use them in Hitfilm Express. Let's go. So here I am in my file browser and at this point what I've done is gone to the description, clicked on the media file link, clicked the big green button and downloaded what appears to be a zipped file. Now a lot of you are confused by this but all you have to do is head to the second link in the description and download WinRAW which is a basically an unzipper program. Then install that and your file will basically look like this. All you got to do then is right click on your file and click extract here. What this will do is extract all of the presets and get ready for importing. So let's head over to HitFilm and import those presets. Here we are in HitFilm and this step is really really simple. So all you have to do is head over to the effects panel, right click and select import presets, navigate to where you save the presets that you just extracted in the previous step, select all of them and click OK and boom your presets are installed. So let's jump over to a different screen of HitFilm and show you guys what these presets look and how to tweak them for your specific shots. Right, so here we are in HitFilm Express once again, and here I have um, basically what I've done is set up a composite shot and created a grade layer for every single one of the presets. So I've created a grade layer and then applied the respective preset onto it. This is the best way to do these things because these presets are composed of quite a few different uh, effects. And so applying them to your footage layer could work, but what I would rather suggest is apply it to a grade layer, and then you can have multiple clips under the same preset underneath each grade layer. So if we take a look at um, this uh, piece of uh, footage I have right here, all of these um, presets are going to match quite perfectly to this footage because this is one of the clips that I used in order to create these presets. But I do have this other clip over here from our um, Iron Man Repulsor episode that I have uh, our link on screen right now if you want to check it out. Um, and this clip is, uh, I just dragged it in just now. So these presets aren't necessarily going to work perfectly with this and it will give me a good way of showing you guys how to tweak the presets for your footage layers. So let's turn this off right now and then I'll go over exactly what these type of presets or the type of looks you're going to get from it. So first of all, we have Action Bay. Now this basically gives you a sort of Michael Bay dramatic, oversaturated, greenish action movie type of tint, um, which I thought was really fun, type of like Transformers, you know, um, uh, what's that movie called? 13 Hours and uh, a new movie coming out, Six Underground. Basically a typical Michael Bay grade. Stock vintage black and white is sort of like punchy black and white look with a bunch of grey and a vignette. Sort of something you'd see on a, I don't know, 1960s TV. 
Classic Western is just that, a classic Western, you know, a nice tint, orange tint, I can't speak. Orange tint with like a vignette and a bunch of grain, you know, like a spaghetti Western type of look. Dull sci-fi, just that, one of those depressing sci-fi looks, you have a little bit of glows going on. Something you'd see in a movie like, I don't know, Oblivion maybe? Star Wars, a little bit better than the dull sci-fi look and better in the sense that it's a bit more punchy. Matte crisp is just that, it's a bit of this uh, matte type of finish look. Um, it's just a little bit crispy because it's got a lot of uh, uh, sharpening going on. Cool blue is just that, a bluish tint. Stylish, stylized desaturate is just that, desaturated, but a bit of punchy in, like the blacks are nice and the, the whites are quite well exposed. Green tint is similar to the cool blues, just have a green tint over it instead. And then the last one we have is tropical, it's a very saturated, the greens and the blues pop quite a bit as well as the oranges, and it's something you'd use in a more tropical environment, hence the name tropical. But what I'm more interested to show you guys in is how these work compared to um, your footage. So let's say you dragged in this clip. If you were to check on the action bay, it works quite well. Maybe there's a bit of peaking happening here in the highlights, but otherwise I would say it works pretty well. Stock Vintage works the same because there's a lot, lot, lot of basically color profiles um, being activated here. The main problems you're going to have is basically if there's a lot of glow effects, if there's a lot of crushing of the blacks and whites, and if there's a lot of um, tinting happening with the different color balance effects. Because um, your footage might not exactly have the same color profile as mine. What I did suggest in the last um, V1 presets, and what I'll suggest again, is shoot your footage flat. Now, if you can shoot log, do that. If you can't, install Cine Style, which I went over in um, my uh, tips for shooting deal with the DSLR, which I'll link on screen right now. So check that out. And basically, this will give you more of a range of color, um, a better range to work with your colors. Classic Western looks fine as well. Dull sci-fi, as you can see, here's the problem. Basically, the glow effects involved in some of these presets, they obviously not attuned to the glow in your specific shot. So what I would say is just go in and adapt it. So what you can do is you can just bring the intensity down a little bit, or you can keep it up and just increase the threshold. And then maybe the radius. And there we have it looking fine. So basically what you wanna do is just uh, change these effects or just adapt them and uh, you know alter the settings so that they fit your shot. The same with the Star Wars grade, it's just the glow problem, so just head into the controls panel for that specific grade, head into the glow, maybe increase the, sat maybe increase the threshold, decrease the intensity, increase the radius, intensity. What you can also do is change the blend mode to screen, which is a little bit of a you know uh, less punchy glow effect, and you can increase that a little bit. And then we have it looking fine again. So basically it's all about just um, adapting the specific preset that's um, for your specific shot. And that's basically it guys. If you look at some of the others, they all work pretty well. Um, it's basically just the, the certain ones that have uh, the glow effects and certain color effects that you might want to twist around. But definitely play around with these guys. Tell me what you think about it and send me some of your shots. I'm always curious to see what you guys are working on. But that's basically it. 10 free presets to grade your films with. Uh, yeah, enjoy. And there you have it guys, 10 more free presets for color grading your films, your shots, and your pictures even in HitFilm Express. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I really have fun making these packs. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you think about it compared to V1, which is better, which what you like the most. If you want to send me some of the shots you've been color grading using these presets, uh, some of your films, short films, links on YouTube, email them to me, send me a tweet, uh, send me a comment down below, anything. I'm always curious and always uh, excited to hear about what you guys are working on. And uh, it warms my heart. Warms my heart to see what you guys are working on. Not sponsored by Krispy Kreme. Although, uh, Krispy Kreme, if you're watching, hit me up. Probably not watching. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, please leave a like down below. Let me know what you think. Share it with all of your friends who are filmmakers, who are people who, I don't know, like watching VFX tutorials here and they don't, don't do VFX themselves. I, I, I Share with everyone. Share with your cat, your dog, your, your mom. You think these planes are crashing? Can you, can you hear? But no, they're just flying overhead. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like down below as well as share it with all of your mates, your cats, your dogs, your pets, your goldfish. I hear my videos fare well with the goldfishes. Fishes? Fish? Goldfish? Fishes? Fish? Gold? Gold? Goldfish. The goldfish community. That went too far.
subscribe turn on notifications we're almost at 10k subscribers at this point and uh yeah i hope you guys have a good day a good year and i will see you in the next one <laughs>